って。Hello everybody, welcome back to Wing Chun Chi Sao Tube. Um, just finished trading with Shane today and we've been looking at a few different things in Chi Sao. One of the things that we were just discussing is using the offbeat. Um, so what I mean by that is when you Chi Sao, you create a rhythm and there's a rhythm between what you and the other person are doing. Okay, What you have to do in order to punch into the open gap is to find the offbeat of the person yeah and then fit in between that and that might not make a lot of sense so i'll try to demonstrate it so you know um, it makes more sense but basically if i'm here all this rolling at the moment we're both moving to the same tune if you like yeah we're both in sync with each other but what has to happen is one of us has to find the other person's offbeat in order for this to change and for you to find the opening okay the gap um, a good way to drill this is how I'm about to show you now. Um, we've turned it into a technique because that allows you to basically reverse engineer it, look at why it works and how it's working, and then try to apply that to other chi sao movements that you use, other chi sao techniques. Um, so basically, in this example, all that's happening is is a roll round, and when you end up in this position where your wu sao goes forward, you're just punching straight on the offbeat into the gap. Okay, so we can be rolling here, the positions roll round, and then I just punch straight into that gap as it presents itself. Okay. And then we reset, start again. And we do this as many times as, you know, each one of us want to, in order to feel like we're understanding how to catch that person on their offbeat. Okay, so um, for this position, all I'm doing is I'm wedging my Wu Sao in and using this here. You can do it other ways as well. If he punches and I've come to here, I could lap potentially, uh, but instead of pulling it, just hold this arm here and punch straight through. Either way though, the reason why this is working is more about timing than anything else. Okay, so give it a go. Um, have a look at the, the concept you know, the principle behind what it is I'm, I'm talking about. Try to find ways to get into your opponent's space, you know, as opposed to just moving their arms and crashing through their arms all the time. If you have a look at the, the offbeat, as I call it, you know, you start to find opportunities where there's literally just an entire gap there. And this is great because it means you're using the minimum amount of effort um, because you're not having to fight the person's strength you know, um, and that just allows you to have a really efficient attacking method. Of course, once you understand it, you start to apply that principle to, you know, all sorts of things that you do. So you can just find the gaps and your hands just find its way forward straight away. Um, that's the idea behind it. You know, and again, this is why we use techniques. We use the technique to help us understand the principle. So eventually, you know, we can do away with the technique altogether. Um, but not before using it to help us learn and get to that place. So anyway, hope you find it useful, guys. Give it a go, see what you think, and uh, join us again on the next video. Thank you for your time. Cheers.